So this is we offer you. I'm spinning it the next way around. So I'm just gonna play first and then afterwards I'm gonna break it down. Okay, so that was we offer you. I'm just gonna just break it down right about now. So we're in the key of G major, all right? Uh, sorry, my bad. We're in the key of D major, but it starts in the subdominant. <laughs> uh, yes, so it's the subdominant is the fourth chord right so the key is d major two sharps f sharp and c sharp uh the i'm setting my, my my left hand up at the octave as i do i'm going to start in a second inversion d g b in order for the if i have to play the melody at another point in time i have the melody there so i have right if I need to, just to, right, to start the song up, right? So uh, the chord would be a G chord in second inversion, yeah? A G chord, yeah? And then... So we have a G chord. Right? So um, we'll, we'll, we'll post the chords afterwards, but let me just put this on airplane mode as... Messages are coming in. Hold one moment. All right, good. Right. Good. So we have, then you have the G chord, right? And then you have an A chord. And then you have F sharp minor chord. And then you have a B minor chord. And then you have E minor, seventh. Then A, A seven. Then a minus, uh, this is a, 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 a substitute chord I'm using, A minus 7, and D. Some people, most people, most musicians will play G, A, F, sharp, B, man, E minor, and then play D. And then, right, they'll play the D, but I'm using the substitute chord of the A minus 7, and then D. So you have... G, G in second inversion, A chord, E, A, C sharp, then F sharp minor, right? F sharp minor, first inversion, F sharp minor, first inversion, second, right? F sharp minor, second inversion, well, you could do root position, yeah, if you want to from A, that might be better for person, and then... B minor, right? I'm using, I'm trying to find the easiest way. So this is G major in second inversion, D, G, B, then A. So it's a lock to move your hands from the G, lock and just bring the hand one note up. And of course, you're gonna slide the fingers up in order to get the pinky finger on C sharp curved, okay? So you have G, then you have A, and then you have F sharp minor, then you have B minor, then you have E minor seventh in second inversion. So from the B minor, I spin one, two, three, five. I just bring the, the third finger to E and then naturally the G will fall here. And then A, just bring down the C sharp and A here. And then A minor seventh substitute chord. And then D.
Okay, so let's review again. So we have G, lock your hands and move it across, slide it over A, then F sharp minor. If you're playing second inversion or if you're playing root, root position, it would be two, three, and five. And then B minor in root position, right? Then move down E and G. So you have B, D, E, G. And then you have A, C sharp, and A. So you have the E and G from the four, from the from E minor seven, and then you go to A minor, A major seven, and then A minor seven. Beautiful transaction there. And then D. Right? So that's that first part. So we have F sharp minor, B minor, and D E minor, A, A minor, D, G, I F sharp minor, B minor, to the E minor seven, the E seven, D, D, G, G, D. So D for two, G for two, and back to D for four. D, D, G, G. Right? Um, verse. G, A, D, F sharp minor, to the B minor, to the E minor, A, D. For the A minor to the D. We're not going to the A minor to substitute there, right? So the verse. G, A, F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, A, D. F sharp major, F sharp major. So that is C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp, right? A sharp. This chord here, A sharp. Let's bring it over here, right? Right? So you have that C sharp, F sharp, and then you have B, F sharp, B, F sharp major, B, B minor, F sharp major, B minor. So you have B, one, two, three, four. Right, so you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, E seventh. So you have playing E minus just now before. All we're doing is sliding the fingers up for the pinky finger to play G sharp. That's the only difference here. So have the B, the D, the E, and the G sharp. And you're going to go to A. One more time, verse. G, A, F sharp minor, to the B minor, seventh, E minor, D, A, D. F sharp major, B minor, F sharp, B, F sharp minor, B minor, D, E, seventh, to the A. Right, I think we got that. You could use the YouTube to slow it down um, as I process the information. So I'm going to take it again um, from the verse and chorus. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. So right, so I used um in this case here I used a G in second inversion, I used a, a in first inversion, which is C sharp, 
E and A, pinky finger. C sharp A, and then I played F sharp minor. I think that's an easier chord to, to move there. Instead of taking the A in root position, locking the A and going up here. A lot of people use the chord and try to play in root position in every chord. It's not going to happen. You can try it. Inversions are the way of making the chord symbol. That, that's how the blind play. All right, so you're going to just see because they have to feel the way around. So if they feel the way around, every root position is going to be challenging. So this is G chord here. And then you have A chord, C sharp, E and A. And then you have F sharp minor. Just to put the pinky finger here. C sharp, F sharp, A. And B minor, one, two, three. That is much better, I believe. And then E minor, seventh. B, D, E, G, and then A, seventh. And then A minor, seventh. And then D. And D is the second version. And then you just take in this thumb and bring it back up to here to start that whole circle again over. And then A, C sharp, E, A, then F sharp minor in second inversion, C sharp, F sharp, A, then B minor, B, D, then E minor, and then E minor 7, and then A, 7, A, C sharp, E, G, then D. GGB, same chords, A chord, C sharp E, E A, then F sharp minor, C sharp F sharp A, B minor, and E minor, B D E minor G, then A, A C sharp, then D. Right? Remember, this is where the difference comes in, right? We are not going to the A minor, right? From A7, A, C sharp, E, G, D. F sharp major, right? Right, so I'm using a different inversion. I'm playing F sharp major in first inversion. So I'm starting with A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. So I have, and I just have to slide these two fingers, first and second finger, up to B. Right now, of course, I have to play back that fourth finger, so it'll be. Right, practice that. And then E minor, E major, sorry, E major seven, B, D, E, G. And then you just play A. Then passing, then passing note, coming back down if you get a little more advanced, right? You don't need to put a passing note in, right? So I'm going to play the whole thing now.
But okay, so as we offer you, I just be a little more, more advanced to the end. As your chord progression strengthens, you will know that's it from over and out from Marlon Modest here.